Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you should know that I make videos about weight loss and healthy lifestyle choices. In today's video, we're going to talk about two things. The first one would be the progress that I made in the past week with regards to my diet and exercise. And the second one would be to discuss a little bit about the calories that we burn when we don't even realize that we do. In the first part of the video, I'm going to share with you my experience in the past seven days and how I managed to stay on track as well as what type of activities I managed to introduce in my daily routine. The second part of the video will contain information about how many calories we burn when we do housework. In the past week I was able to pay very close attention to what I was eating and this led to a pretty consistent healthy diet. I did my best to eat as clean as possible. For the most part, what I ate was vegetables, fruits, eggs, yogurt, cheese, but very low in calorie cheese. I also had some chicken and some pork, but that was not necessarily something that I really craved. I think it's because the temperatures are really high right now and I don't really feel like eating meat. Whenever I fall off the wagon, I find myself consuming ridiculous amounts of soda, which is not something that I usually do. It's probably something caused by the fact that when I am on a diet, I don't really touch those types of drinks. Another struggle that I had was to not snack in bed. This is, wow, if you're here since the beginning or at least for a while now you probably know that one of my biggest enemies is snacking in bed after dinner this is something that i struggled a lot in the past with and apparently sometimes it just comes back again as a habit what i can tell you though is that every time i'm trying to beat this it gets easier overall the eating was on point. My diet was the best that I could have hoped for after such a long time in which I did not pay attention to it. With regards to the physical activity, no, I didn't do well. In my opinion, at least, at least not in the classical way of working out. I set a goal for myself to work out at least three times in the past week and it didn't happen. What I did though is a lot of housework, a lot of moving around. I played badminton, I played basketball, I tried to keep myself moving. I know that some would argue that uh, this is not quite as effective as just having a normal workout in a day, but in my opinion, sometimes it might actually be better. Due to the fact that I know I am not motivated enough to just start a workout for 30 minutes or for 60 minutes. I try to do a lot of things during the day and I keep myself moving for basically the entire day. I've never had the house this clean and I've never had everything put in order like I have them now. I've never had all the laundry done and folded. Avoiding normal workouts has brought me to this point. I would say I'm quite grateful. <laughs> My concern would be how am I going to keep up the same level of activity since I pretty much did everything around the house? So I'm pretty sure that I have to snap out of this state of mind and just start working out like a normal person, like a regular person trying to lose weight. All in all, I believe that the past week was a success, both in terms of food intake and in terms of physical activity. The last time that I stepped on the scale, I was 220 pounds and this morning when I weighed myself, I was 219 pounds. Keeping in mind that I did not work out properly and that I did not have any major restrictions in terms of eating, I believe like this is a good result. I will continue to do my best in this new week and we'll see at the next weigh-in if maybe the results will be even better. Now let's take a look at how many calories do we actually burn when we do housework. One of the activities that I hate the most is actually washing the dishes, but it turns out that this is actually a great way to burn some calories. For example, for one hour of washing dishes, 
you will be able to burn about 102 calories. Another activity that I constantly need to do around the house just because I have 17 cats is dusting. Now this activity is actually helping us a lot to achieve our weight loss goals since it burns about 102 calories per hour. One activity that we don't have to do very often is cleaning the windows. Believe it or not, this burns about 136 calories per hour. We might just want to add that to our weekly cleaning, right? Something else that I really don't enjoy doing is vacuuming. Yeah, that's right. That's because we have a very large vacuum cleaner and when I have to carry it up and down the stairs, it kind of makes me don't want to start. But this activity does burn 170 calories per hour. Right after vacuuming, of course, we also need to do the mopping. This is something that I don't particularly enjoy, but it doesn't bother me either. And that's a good thing considering the fact that it also burns about 170 calories per hour. With the pandemic and everything, we were not actually required to leave the house that much. And when we did, it was just to go to the store. So this next activity is something that I haven't done in a while. We did not iron that much in the past year. However, it turns out that ironing burns about 88 calories per hour. One of the most important things for me when I clean the house is to make sure that the kitchen and the bathrooms are perfectly, perfectly clean. Which is definitely a plus considering the fact that cleaning the bathroom burns about 190 calories per hour. Now, if you have kids or maybe if you have a lot of pets that play around the house or in the house, you will notice that another type of activity that you constantly need to do is to pick up toys. Just the simple act of picking them up and putting them in the right place burns the same calories as you would burn if you would go on a power walk. This activity burns around 136 calories per hour. Have you ever wondered how many calories you burn when trying to prepare dinner, for example? When combined with washing and putting things in the right place, Cooking a meal and cleaning up can burn a few hundred calories, 102 calories per hour to be more specific. If you've got an active dog or a playful cat, then spending an hour of bonding time with them can burn an incredible 272 calories. It can also lower your blood pressure at the same time. You would say that with me owning 17 cats, I wouldn't have such a hard time losing weight, but I do. If you decide that your place needs a little redecorating, then get prepared for a mini workout because moving furniture is the highest calorie burning chore you can do. I think it could be compared with lifting weights at the gym probably and moving furniture for one hour, it will help you burn 340 calories. If by chance you have a yard, you probably wonder how many calories you burn when you are trying to clean it up. The number is way higher than I believed. It is exactly 204 calories per hour. Now, if you also have a car, depending on the size of it and the thoroughness of your job, washing the car is a calorie killer that's likely to leave you beaming with satisfaction. The best way to work up a sweat when washing a car is simply to do an ultra thorough job, including washing the underside, cleaning the hubcaps and applying a layer of wax on the roof. Whether you have a vegetable garden or a backyard full of flowers, you probably need to water them from time to time. If the temperatures are high and you do need to perform this activity, rest assured that watering the garden will help you burn 102 calories per hour. So that's it for today, guys. I hope that I provided some valuable information to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. One of my goals would be to unlock the community tab, which can only happen if I reach 1000 subscribers. If you can, please support me with that. That being said, thank you for watching. Have a lovely week ahead. See you later. Bye bye.